Hey guys, what is up? Stickboy here, back again for another reaction, and this will be the first reaction of 2021. And of course, we're getting right back into Fruits Basket because I just don't really want to put it down. Um, things are getting pretty interesting, and I did go back yesterday and watch uh, 6, 7, and 8 again because I felt like I needed to, uh, to kind of absorb everything, and I think... Uh, I think that was needed. I, I did see some things that that I didn't see the first time, or that I didn't quite understand the first time. And I, I think the biggest takeaways are that, um, well, at the very end of eight, uh, it looks like uh, Shigure is going to bring uh, Kyo to Akito, and I don't know what that's all about, but that's you know that that has potential to be trouble. Um, we definitely um, know more about the beads. <laughs> we found out that they're, uh, they were made from some sort of a blood sacrifice a long, 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 long time ago, and Kyo feels very guilty about the fact that a person was sacrificed in order to, uh, in order to give the beads their power. Um, I, I feel like, I feel like he shouldn't look at it that way. I feel like that's not really on him because that you know that amulet has gone through a lot of people before it got to him so I don't know but at the same time you can kinda understand where he's coming from and then uh, I just <laughs> I just love how done with everybody's crap Yuki is like I don't know what Akito said to him but like he's just done with everybody's shit like completely and totally done with it. Um, he's like a different person. And, you know, it's like he said, you know, he said to Toru that she helped, you know, that, that her her being around helped him kind of uh, open the lid, as he put it. And are we, are we like shipping those two? Like, I, I'm not much of a shipper, but like, are we shipping Toru and Yuki at all? Um, I'm, I'm sure we're shipping her with Kyo. I'm sure that is it like, is it like, uh, is it like Twilight where you know there was this group that was shipping Bella with Jacob, and then there was this other group that was shipping her with Edward, and like is is that is there something like that going on? I, I'm just I don't know. I'm not much of a shipper, but I, I feel like. At this point, I feel like there's probably something like that going on. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're going to get into episodes 9 and 10. And, yeah, I, I'm i I'm very intrigued. I, I'm sorry about the lighting back here. Um, it's daylight. You know, it's afternoon. The, the sun comes in right here through these curtains, which are supposed to reflect the sun, but they don't do a very good job on camera. So I've got as much light back there you know, behind the camera coming this way as I can possibly get. So it's just one of those things. Uh, I don't want to wait until tonight to do this because I'd really like to do my editing tonight. And I may have stuff to do. I may have plans tonight. I don't know. But suffice it to say that if I'm going to watch this today, I'm going to be better suited to do it right now. So <clears throat> anyways, all that, all that said, um, it's going to be on uh, Google Drive. You're going to have to take the link. It's going to be down there, as always, below my finger. Um, head over there, take the link, check it out. Um, it's going to be kind of a long video because I'm going to do two episodes. So uh, get comfortable, and I'll see you there. 